modern mural movement in Chicago uh, began in the late 1960s and it spread uh, throughout the city of Chicago in the 1970s and in the history of the mural movement uh, Chicago has or plays a central role uh, because more murals were produced in Chicago than any other urban place in the U.S. Between 1970 and 1975, for example, uh, there were over 200 walls that were covered uh, in Chicago. So if Chicago is the pioneer of the modern arts or mural movement in uh, the U.S., then Pilsen, uh, by consequence, is the leading center of muralism in the U.S. Now, murals are important because um, it is a way in which the Mexican community here uh, seeks to identify itself and legitimize itself uh, in view of the city itself. that is rich in culture, rich in deep-rooted in Mexican culture, um, also has a long history of artists, mural artists, also um, helping youth survive the struggles of social problems and um, Pilsen is a very beautiful neighborhood. Uh, as a long Chicagoan, I was born and raised in Humboldt Park but moved to Pilsen and 2004 because I have an affinity towards the neighborhood in that everything is walking distance. Um, the people that live in Pilsen are very amiable and very nice. Rayas was one of these men of the 70s and 80s who used the concrete walls of Pilsen as their canvas and murals became a tool for people of color to express themselves in a public way and there was a revival of public art and a lot of artists of Mexican background, Puerto Rican, African American background, a lot of them use um, your art as their, as their tool. So that's what's important about this mural. I really enjoy the, um, the Sandinista, this black and red flag, and just the, the imagery of this mural is unseen anywhere else in Pilsen. This, the deep history, the deep political, in my mind, when I see this mural, it's, it's, to me, it's like a timeline. It is, it's a representation of history. It's important for youth to recognize this mural as um, part of our past, and not only documenting our past, but the struggles of our past and how we are able to be where we're at today because of our ancestors and the people who came before us fighting for our rights and fighting for equal rights. Um, and just struggling to be able to even have a school in the neighborhood. And this is our history, this is our past, and that's what led and paved the way for our future. recycled materials as part of his motif. Uh, this is a mosaic which uses different materials from destructed homes 
Um, so basically reclaiming and recycling materials. And this is a very beautiful um, aspect of Pilsen. We have different imagery of the photographs of children, of older people. Um, it's a very interesting piece with all the colors, with the orange and yellow rising sun. And there's a lot to see in this one particular piece of mosaic. We have a tree and then the word Pilsen, which is kind of cool. <laughs> Um, we're on our way to see Hector Duarte's studio with a huge uh, migrant worker tied to the land uh, called Gulliver's modeling Gu Gulliver's Travel of the Giant. But I wanted to talk about the CTA trains, how there's three stops in Pilsen and uh, Hector Duarte's work is on the Western stop. Juan Chavez is on the Damon stop. And Francisco Mendoza, along with various artists, is at the 18th Street stop. So all three stops have mosaics and beautiful artwork to visit here in Pilsen. Here's uh, on our left, is Gulliver's hand, the micro worker's hand. And this is such a beautiful piece from a very famous artist, Hector Duarte. And I love his impressionistic style with his large brush strokes and depicting of a man who is actually the his body and base is his chest is the land and he's tied to the land with um, the repetitive imagery of corn. of potential and there's a lot of growth here in Pilsen especially with um, with community gardens and engaging youth um, both in gardening aspect and also in the arts um, there's a lot of positive organizations like Pro's Art Studio um, Latinos Progresando uh, Pilsen Portal um, there's festivals like Unisono Mole de Mayo uh, Open Studios Pilsen is a very, very beautiful neighborhood that um, is definitely uh, needs to be on the map and showcased. And what better way to showcase all the beautiful murals than on the back of my rickshaw? So that's why I started Pilsen Garden Mural Tours, um, because I have the knowledge and I'd like to share that knowledge with people who take tours with me and show them the beauty of Pilsen at a slow pace with music on the back of my ride. <laughs> My name is Soraida Ortiz and I give garden mural tours on my rickshaw or bring your own bicycle here in Pilsen with the rich mural cultural rooted background of the neighborhood. <laughs> 